What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. Um, if you guys enjoy my channel um, and you want to be notified of future readings, um, you can smash the sub button. Just saying. I do uh, weekly readings. Um, I get clear audience and clairvoyant messages. Just to let everybody know, I, I do weekly readings. Um, I also have a series called Hashtag Glow Up, which is a light side, positive, self-care, healing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera series that's once a month and also i have a um <clears throat> truth hidden which is basically what they don't want you to know that's once a, once a month as well that's on the dark side um secrets and third parties and things like that whatever comes out in the energetic space and it's all signs all signs have through sag everybody in between so just let everybody know the newbies that have just joined i know i have several newbies that have just recently joined i would love to have you guys i really really would um i would so, um, if you want to smash the sub button, if you're just coming across this video, um, and you enjoy my content, um, I'd love to have you, just saying. All right, you guys, um, I got two channeled in, so I decided to do this, um, reading. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I do, I do, I do who. All right, let's do the damn thing. Okay, so the first one I heard an earth sign is having a huge, huge, huge wake up call. That was the first one. And the second one, um, I heard a very significant murder trial is coming up soon. Um, that is what I heard. Those are the channel messages I have received so far. For those of you um, new, just coming across the video, I did a, um, uh, I had a vision this morning, which I rarely get visions, but I did get one this morning. It was on a possible Amber Alert. So, you know, if, you feel that might resonate with you you're welcome to go back and check it out if you want to or share it with somebody you think would it would benefit them um it was it's scary i hope that at least helps save one person's life one child's life and i'm serious about that all right um don't forget the basics time is fluid energy is fluid if it doesn't apply let it fly everyone has free will only take the messages that resonate with you um like I said, it's a free general collective reading, but it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you. It's a through side to everybody in between. All right, let's do it. So, okay, so a nurse sign is having a huge wake-up call. So that's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. It can be masculine or femme, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. Um, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter. You plug it in, how it fits. Some gang stalking energy. Some, some theft of them, some of other, others. <clears throat> okay, I heard some gang stalking energy and some theft, um, some of themselves. So this earth sign, if this is for you, you have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate, if you do resonate. So some of these earth signs, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, they have been stolen from. Some... For some of these are signs, somebody has stole from them. Um, you plug it in how it fits. And then um, I heard gang stalking and, and theft, either of the earth sign or somebody connected to the earth sign. Um, and for some, it's both. And for some, it's both. So for some, the earth sign, if this is you, earth sign, you've been stole from and somebody has stole from somebody connected to you um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and some kind of gang stalking energy of an earth sign um i have been gang stalked before you guys i have personally um i have for like two years um my whole community basically tell you're an lpn you're an lpn you're an lpn and i'm a clearly an rn and i'm like no i'm an rn i heard you were an lpn um but it wasn't just that it wasn't just that it was many weird things in the world in the universe for like two years now it's, I, so i understand the whole gang stalking thing I understand it. I thought those people would just be adults and they would just move the hell on, but they didn't. Um, it happened for like two years because um, I feel, yes, um, yes, I could have moved. Yes, I could have, but they could have controlled their own actions and they could have acted like adults, you know, so everybody has control of their own actions. So that's, I was like, oh, well, those people, they'll grow up. They're 30s, they're 40s, they'll grow up. Yeah, right. Um, they have now, they have now, but I have also, um, you know, I'm not working out in the regular 3D realm now. I'm doing this at home. So, 
um, things have changed. But um, but you plug it in wherever it resonates, if it does resonate for you. And also, um, <clears throat> I heard a very significant murder trial is coming up soon. Um, that is so cray cray. So you plug that in, however that resonates. Um, that is that is crazy. Um, some kind of significant murder trial. Now that could be um, you could be the one on trial. You could be a family member or someone on trial, or um, or you know just connected to this um, murder trial in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, maybe you're the judge, the lawyer, a bailiff, um, the news crew, etc., etc., etc. You plug it in, however that resonates. If it does resonate for you. Some very shocking series of chain of events is going to occur regarding the murder trial issue soon. Very shocking. And someone's going to end up turning in stolen money. And it's going to create many series of chain of events. Positively for a family. Okay, so you plug it in how it fits. Well, um... Well, if I'm getting channeled, I'll just do the channeled, and then we might put some tarot on it. We'll see. So, um, we'll wing it, because I'm getting a lot of channeled right now. So, um, so, sh some shocking series of chain events is going to occur with this murder trial soon. Um, you plug it in how it fits. Kind of shocking series of chain events with the murder trial coming soon. And, um... And someone's about to turn in some stolen money, I heard, and it's going to help benefit a family in a huge way. So you, uh, I heard a large amount of stolen money. So it wasn't a little amount of stolen money. It was a large amount. Um, but it's going to end up benefiting a family in a huge way. So you plug that in, however that resonates. More evidence is about to come in for this murder trial against a feminine energy. She's going to wish she never gang stalked and bullied and stole from a family. Oh my God. You plug it in, how it fits. Wow. So, um, I heard more information is about to come in on this murder trial situation. Somebody's, it sounds like they're about to be on trial for murder. That's what it sounds like in the universe. Uh, for some, they could currently be on trial for murder. Um, but you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates in your life. But murder trial energy, I mean, serious murder trial energy. This kind of reminds me a little Secret 7 because, you know, I was pulling in like a few months ago. Bodies being found, bodies being found, bodies being found, black magic, black magic, bodies being found. And then all of a sudden now we've got a murder trial, either about to start or has just started. Um, you plug that in, however it resonates. But um heard more information is about to come in on um on um the fem energy connected in this murder trial. So I don't know how many people are on trial for murder. Um, I didn't hear that part, but there's definitely a fem energy on trial for murder. And, uh, or about to be on trial for murder. And, um, and, uh, more information is about to come in on that fem energy. I heard basically, um, uh, the, the fem energy is going to regret ever stealing from bullying and harassing and gang stalking a family. Um, so that kind of what, what makes me think secret seven. Of course, there's millions of secret seven situations in the, the universe. We all, I mean, we know that. Um, a million of them. It's not just the one in Huntsville, Alabama. I, I tend to pick up the one in Huntsville, Alabama a lot. Um, for those who have been watching for a hot minute, you know that. Um, but I've picked up one in New York before too. So, I mean, it really all depends is what I'm trying to say. It, you know, I can only deliver the messages that Spirit gives me to deliver. Um, and I know I was a little emotional this morning when I was, um, I was blocked. I was trying to deliver a message I'd heard previous with the um, with the uh, clairvoyant message. But I was so emotional, upset, and upset this morning over that message um, with this child, this poor little child out in the universe that I got so blocked I couldn't even I couldn't pick up. I couldn't pick up. Um, 
but now I'm good now. I'm good now. You know, I meditated. I took my kids to school. I meditated and I'm good now. Um, but you know, those kind of things happen when you get very emotional, very, when you get very, um, overwhelmed, very emotional, um, you get blocked, you get blocked a lot. Um, anybody that is in this, has any knowledge on that, they know that, um, in the spiritual realm and, and it's true, it's true. Now that I have to get, obtained gifts, I, I experience it. Um, I don't experience it very often with the blocks, but I did this morning. Um, I do experience it. Everybody does from time to time. Some people channel in very easy. I haven't always channeled in this easy. For anybody who doesn't know, I haven't always channeled in this easy. Um, I just haven't. But I, now that I'm doing this full time, I, I definitely am. Um, so, you know, you plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates for you. Um, but some kind of um, um, murder trial energy. There's a fem energy that gang stalked, bullied, and harassed family. Um, there's about to be more evidence coming in on this fem energy. Her, she's going to regret ever messing, stealing from, uh, bullying, and harassing the family, basically. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And a Scorpio is seriously thinking about reaching out to a Leo soon information important information it would be very smart this scorpio needs to hear this okay so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates with you and i heard a scorpio is seriously considering reaching out to a feminine energy um um with some information of some shape form or fashion you can be a masculine or fem scorpio you could have scorpio in your sun moon rising venus North Node Behavior and Jupiter, if that resonates with you, but um, whoever you are in the universe works. But um, I heard it from Spirit, it would be it would be smart to reach out to the Fem Energy with this information. It's some kind of information. So whoever this Scorps is, like I said, could be masculine Fem Scorps, but you know they're they're not trying to get in somebody's pants. They're just trying to give information to a Fem Energy. I heard from Spirit, it would be very smart to do it. So hopefully that helps at least one Scorpio out there in the universe. It's to a Leo. A Leo Femme. Um, so it's a Scorpio to a Leo Femme. So you plug that in, however that resonates. If that resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. We're already 12 minutes in. Someone has had a severe increase in downloads recently. They're getting them for a reason. Okay. Heard, um, ancestors are really on their ass to do something important. And they're going to do it soon. Scorpio energy. Libra energy. Leo energy. Okay, so you plug it in however it resonates. So whoever this is, it sounds like a Scorpio, Libra, or Leo. They could have, it could be one person with Scorpio, Libra, or Leo in their charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheim, or Jupiter. Or it could be three separate people, Scorpio, Leo, or Libra, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheim, or Jupiter um, in the universe. You plug it in how it resonates, or more than three. Because you know there could be 30 Leos, 30 Libras, 30 Scorpios that this resonates with, if it does. Um, but I heard basically um, they're being, they're getting a lot, like an increase in downloads. Um, they have the players uh, in some shape, form, or fashion, clear audience, clairvoyance, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities, or dreamscape abilities, one or all those things. Um, and I heard um, they are basically um, getting the increase in downloads for a reason. And they're about to basically um, take some serious action. Now, uh, whatever serious action that is, that could be contacting somebody, that could be taking action on whatever the downloads are, but some kind of action, um, you plug it in how it fits.
An older feminine energy is about to go to jail very soon. It is going to shock her and she's going to play victim. Okay. Heard an older feminine energy is about to go to jail soon. Um, it's going to shock her and, um, and she's going to try to play victim. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates with you, um, older feminine energy that resonates for, it could be, you know, you don't have to be the older femme energy that's going to go jail. You could be somebody connected to the older femme energy. You could be a family member of this person, a neighbor, a co-worker, um, a partner, a past partner, et cetera, et cetera. But it's, um, older in the tarot is deemed as 40 or above, um, 40 ish or above. So I strongly feel they are 40 or above fem fem Excuse me, fem, feminine energy. A lot of feminine energy in here. Um, I didn't hear a sign on that, but it's it is a fem energy, older fem energy. Uh, I heard they're gonna try to play victim, um, but it's not gonna work. And and good, um, good because you know, um, you know, manipulation can only go so far. Manipulation only freaking go so far. Um, and whoever this is for, somebody seeing past the false mask with this feminine energy. I think there's some kind of actual substantial evidential evidence is exactly what I think. Second exactly what I think. Someone's about to get gastro gastro bypass with stolen money soon. They're going to have very, very heavy negative complications regarding this. Negative karma from stolen money. Should have turned the money in. Okay, so you plug it in, help it. Confirmation. Y'all hear the sirens for the police? Confirmation. Yeah. Oh my God. Confirmation. I I mean, I just heard somebody was going to jail, then I heard the uh, freaking police sirens. That's not coincidental. Everything happens in the universe for a reason. And I'm just being for real, for real. And that it's not that's confirmation if I've ever seen it. I've had some pretty I've had some confirmation, some pretty cray cray confirmations before. Anybody's been watching the channel for a hot minute, you know that. My intuitive kitty, when he starts rolling, rolling, rolling with the meow, 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 which he's laying right here behind my laptop right now. He's very quiet, and that's usually how he is. Um, that was one. One when I was talking about threat to national security with Secret Seven about four or five months ago, and then all of a sudden, out of the sky, it's like the thunders. A thunderstorm just erupted out of the blue it was sunny as like like sunny in philadelphia um before and then all of a sudden the freaking bottom fell out it rain it stormed stormed for like three minutes and then it just went back to like sunny in philadelphia that and then it was when i was talking about threat to national security with secret seven and i showed y'all with the, like i moved the camera around and showed y'all and everything i don't know if y'all remember that but um that was a confirmation and then the police sirens with the um the jail energy i mean you just can't get any more synchronistic with the universe than that is what i'm saying um but you plug it in how that resonates um i feel like i feel solemn energy i feel solemn energy i really really do i do i do i do but um whoever this is for though um the last one i heard a fem energy um no i didn't hear fem energy did I hear fem energy? You go back and check it. I don't think it was a fem energy. I, th I think I just heard someone. You go back and check it. It was either fem energy or someone. But you go back and check it. I think it was someone. Someone's getting gastro bypass soon. So they are obviously met the credentials and the criteria to um, to have the gastro bypass. So obviously over the weight limit because you have to be certain weight limit. You have to meet certain criteria to have gastric bypass done. It's a major, major, major surgery. Um, so obviously they have met those criteria, um, but I heard they're having it on stolen money. Um, and I heard they're going to have major complications with it um, because it's negative karma from the universe because they stole the money. I heard they should have turned it into, uh, should turn it in. So I'm assuming to authorities or feds or CIA or blasey, 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 however that resonates. Um, you plug it in how it feels. This Scorpio communicating with this Leo will be life changing. And somebody's about to call the news soon. Very smart. News station. Okay. I heard this Scorpio um Scorpio communicating with the Leo. 
Um, I think it's the Leo theme I was pulling in here earlier, but you plug it in how it fits. Um, masculine or feminine Scorps. I heard communicating with this Leo would be a very smart idea. Apparently, these are spirit messages for you, Scorpio. If this resonates with you, I heard it'd be a very, very smart idea to communicate with this Leo. This Leo. I think it's the Leo theme from earlier, but it could be a Leo masculine for some. You plug it in how it fits. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midian, or Jupiter charts. Um, and then I heard someone's about to call the news station. So that could be you calling the news station or somebody connected to you calling the news station. Um, you plug that in, however that resonates, if that does resonate with you. Big happenings, big happenings in the universe, big. Uh, we've got um, somebody about to call the news station. We've got a murder trial either just started or about to start. We've got a Scorpio and a Leo about to connect as far as communication. Uh, for some of these Scorpio and Leos, I feel like they have not communicated in a while. Um, I really don't feel they have for some of them. Um, for some, they might have, but, um, it feels like it's a long distance. I feel long distance. Like it's been a long time since they've communicated. Um, so it wasn't just like yesterday and like, Hey, what's up? No, I, I don't feel, I truly don't feel that, um, in this energetic, um, energy I'm pulling in. Um, but you plug it in how it fits. Um, wow, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Um, and somebody, a lot of stolen money, but at least one person in the universe, it could be you about to turn in this stolen money. I think whoever's about to turn this stolen money in, um, I heard it's going to help a family. So apparently it was stolen from a family in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but whether it's you turning this stolen money in or somebody connected to you, I, they're obviously going to do the right thing. They're probably trying to lessen their karmic load in the universe. And I don't, I don't blame them. I would do the same exact thing. One, because I don't believe in stealing from others. And two, um, I don't want to eat more negative karma than I would already get in my life. Um, and when you accept stolen money, when you accept stolen money, you commit crimes, you harm anybody physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or financially, i.e. stealing, you're just building karma up and building karma up and building, building karma up and building karma up against yourself. Um, if anybody needs to hear that. And I think this person that's about to, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, that's about to turn this stolen money in, um, that apparently they stole from a family, they know the laws of karma. And they know, I think they've lived it in their life. They know it's real. So I think that's why they're about to um, turn the money in. And I don't blame them. Kudos to you, ma'am or sir, if that's for you. Um, maybe it's somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it fits. Let me see if I hear anything else, okay? A very, very malicious, spiteful feminine energy is about to seriously wage probable physical harm on a family because she's not getting what she wants. A masculine energy will probably step in and protect this family soon. Intuitively knows this feminine energy plans broadly okay so you plug it in how it fits holy crap moly they are just pouring in my gosh we're at 24 minutes i'm sorry it's so long but this is long channeling but um i'm not even gonna do cards because i mean there's already so much going on in here so you just plug the messages in how they resonate if they resonate for you so there's a I heard a very mean, malicious, spiteful femme energy. So, you know, that could be any age range, but obviously it's a very immature femme energy, I'll tell you that. They're very mentally immature. So they could be 25 years old, they could be 65 years old, but they are very mentally immature and they're not in the right mindset, I'll tell you that. Um, or not in the correct mindset. You know, they're not balanced. They're not, um, they're very um, imbalanced. They're very, it sounds like all over the place, spatially and cognitively up here. Um, to the point, I heard they want to harm a family because they're not getting what they want. So they sound like a spoiled person, so like a spoiled brat is exactly what they sound like. And I hate to be so harsh. I know some of you guys think I'm harsh, but I'm really not harsh. I'm just to the damn point. Um, so, you know, you can say I'm harsh all, all you want, but I'm not, to, I'm not harsh. I just speak the truth. So, you know, you can go find somebody that you 
think is not harsh that speaks the truth. But usually bluntness is people appreciate bluntness. I'm just saying. So, you know, but if I'm not for you, I'm not for you. <laughs> um, but I speak the truth. I'll speak the truth regardless, you know. So you can either like it or not. You can go find somebody else. <laughs> but anyway, so, but it's a very, um, very spoiled, selfish feminine energy. I heard it because it's not getting what she wants. So she's trying, she either used this family in the past or she is using them now. However that resonates. Um, and, but she's not getting, well, no, I think it was past, it's past energy because I heard she's not getting what she wants. So she used this family in the past in some shape, form or fashion. She could have lived with them. She could have stole from them. She could have, um, me mentally, financially, physically, or spiritually harmed them in some shape, form or fashion. So she could have done black magic on them. She could have domestic violence. She could have stole. It could have been secret seven situation. I mean, a million different things. You plug it in how it fits. But however it resonates, she's not getting what she wants now. And it pisses her off. She's spoiled. Um, so And she's very mentally immature. So whether she's 25 or 65, she's very mentally immature. Um, but however that resonates, I heard basically um, there's a masculine energy that intuitively know, intuitively broadly knows her plans to come harm this family. Um, and he's probably going to step in soon and help the family. So um, you plug that in how it fits. So at least, but there's a masculine energy. He's highly intuitive. He's around this fem, the spoiled fem energy in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be a family member. If you are the masculine energy, you have to plug yourself in however you resonate in these situations, okay? Um, you could be somebody connected to this. You could be them. You could, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but this masculine energy connected to the spoiled fem energy um, that was basically using and using this family in some shape form or fashion in the past i'm feeling um is he's either a lover a past lover a family member a co-worker a neighbor or a member of the community that gets a phone call and is aware of this in some shape form or fashion maybe a police officer maybe a um 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 a lawyer maybe a judge well not judge um like a police officer or maybe um, I think a police officer or investigator, or if it's like a member of the community, or it could, I mean, it could be any member of the community. It could be, um, it could be a coach on the ball team that maybe one of the kids play on the ball team and they just care and they, they want to help the family. I mean, you know, it really could resonate a million different ways, but they know this family, this masculine energy, however they plug in, however you plug in masculine energy, if you do plug into this. You know the spoiled fem energy that was using the family, and you know the family. However, that resonates for you, if you resonate in this situation. Um, so you plug it in, however that resonates. But I heard you're probably going to step in soon and help, and help the family. So for some, I feel you could be that Scorpio, or you could be somebody else with another sign. But um, you plug it in, however that resonates. Um, dear God Almighty, this is, um, this is some deep, deep, deep stuff. Deep stuff let me see if i hear anything else but you know we're in a new world we're in a new world these days and um we're in libra season we're in libra season which um which is scales being balanced scales being balanced whether you want them to be balanced or not um fairness and equality and balance um and this season this libra season is truly a time for balance balance and equality and um, fairness for people um, ex except you know yes I do believe that I do believe that now there's a lot of stolen money out in the universe with that secret seven um, the secret seven situation or a lot well many secret seven situations I should say not just one secret seven situation there's many secret seven situations but there's a lot of stolen money out in the universe regarding that crap and you know yes I'm very passionate about the secret seven but I'm passionate about it because it found me for anybody that's new and just join um, my channel and or you just come across my channel and you're just viewing my video um i'm, all, I'm passionate about secret seven because secret seven found me i started reading in march of 2020 when COVID really started hitting huntsville alabama in 20, um, 2020 uh, when everything was locked down and it was just me and my kids cooped up in this house with no restaurants to go to and nowhere to go and it, it was people were fighting over damn toilet paper and like 
winding up a news for toilet paper. I mean, that was life back in March of 2020. Me and my kids were hoop cooped up in the same house. Um, watching all the shit go down, basically. So, I, I, this was my... I pulled it in because I was having weird things happen to me at that time. Um, but that's how I found Secret 7 was through tarot card readings. This is what I'm saying. That's how I found the Secret 7 was through tarot card readings. Um, for anybody who doesn't know. And I'm still... I still pull it in. Now, it's at a completely different energetic space than it was in. But, um, but we do still pull it in. So that's why I'm so passionate about it, um, for those of you that don't know. But I like to put it out there to make awareness. Because there's a guy that commented on here today talking about Secret 7 situation in Florida. And yeah, I know. I know there is one in Florida, sir. I know there is. There's one all over the place. There's there's a Secret 7 situations all over the universe, countrywide and statewide. Um, I just happened to pull the one in predominantly in Huntsville, Alabama. I live in Huntsville. I don't know why I do, but I do. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to close the video. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. Namaste.